underway for McDonald's. Triple M Rocks football, 117 to play. Umpire slams it down. Cooney off the line. Handball Melcham. High speculator. Desperate times. Mark, no. Loose ball. Collier got two. Handball. Oh. Hunger. What the bloody hell is he doing? Oh, yes. He's kicking bloody goals. <laughs> Who got it? Tail Hooker. The Bombers are back in front from an unlikely source. Goosebumps. Still. Yeah. Six, great sort of, six yeah. years ago. That. Great bit of audio too for that. But what the hell is he doing down there? What the bloody hell is he doing down there? Uh, uh, Triple M, that one. Yeah. Hooksy retires, um, among a few others. But the big one, of course, this week is Hooker. Mm. Captain Clutch. Much loved. Much He's loved, yes. Much yes. Loved. Um, Captain Clutch, Mr. Swingman himself. Um. That was really, that game, that goal was a sign of things to come. He won us games off his own boot. Yeah, the GWS one was a great one too. The Giants won in 2019, yep. Yeah. And he also kicked a goal to get us in front against Gold Coast not too long later mm. um, in that same season. So, like I said. I wonder what he would have been like as a forward for his whole career. I don't know. It's interesting because we probably you view him with different glasses on because he was a defender. Yeah. Perhaps, but mm. you can't anyway. you can't you can't talk about him without mentioning loyalty highlights. Oh. Um, sad, I guess that he's gone out as an omission to the team, but he's he's been one of our most liked, I guess, over the last couple of years, and and really had to turn it around from early in his career where he was a heart attack on a football field. <laughs> but he's the heart and soul of the club, and, and I don't want to degrade that from his ability too. He's a very good football player, all Australian, best and fairest. Like they're not things that you just give out. Like some very good players have only got one or none of those sort of things. So yeah, all Australian, he, nothing to sneeze at. Then all Australians are the best and fairest at a you know at a Essendon football club is certainly nothing to sneeze at either. So and I think he got a, pretty close to the year after in an all Australian too. So yeah, great player. Great player, and if we talked about... Oh, we posted it on the page this week, his story about um, when we wanted mm. to trade him to the Eagles. Mm-hmm. He just locked himself in his house and told Dodoro yes. and Thompson to piss off, basically. Yeah, that's the way to which do it. Which is just amazing. I was born in this club, I'll die in this club. <laughs> What's that from, Sam? No comment. Um, so, yeah, thanks, Hooksy. Uh, mm. Thanks, Ambrose. I think we talked about Ambrose in the wrap-up. Yep. Last week. Um, there are rumours to be other players, but we won't mention them until it's official. There's a bit of and talk about... Then, yeah. yeah, there's a bit of talk about Zaharakis, but we don't want to make a habit of talking her- about things early. until... Yeah. And hells, until they're official, so... That's right. We'll wait till the official line and then we'll either celebrate it or if it doesn't come out, then we'll go with who. I reckon you can bet what the audio might be if Zaharakis oh, does Zaharakis. leave the club. It's probably going to be oh. Triple M too. I'll spoil it. Oh, yeah, that's true. That one. Good choice. All right. Moving on, no farewell game for Hooker. Um, we play the Pies this week on Sunday. Uh, no change for us. Phillips, Ham, and Cox all in. Essentially, Gleason in as well as a Medi sub from last week. No outs just yet <clears throat> for Collingwood. There's a couple of names here I've never heard of, so forgive me. Anton <laughs> Towhill, Jay Rantel, Jeremy Howe. Obviously, there's on we know. Reef McInnes and Tom Wilson in. Out goes Brody Majek with suspension. Very handy little one for us, even though Lav did have him in his back pocket on Anzac Day. Mm. And Trey Rusco, um, if he plays Reef McInnes first game, candidate for one of the more interesting names in footy. Mm, Reef, we've got a steal there as well, so that you know they. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Collingwood seemed to yeah. It's a different. Strong on the wheel. Different, Strange names. different, different club. I mean, I, I think what you see there though is a club, the Collingwood, that are at a totally different stage of their, you know, they're bringing in kids for the last game of the round, which is strange for one. But well, you only know, only two of those are going to play at this point. Um, Jeremy yeah, but, Howe clearly yeah, true. will yeah, play. Jeremy Howe definitely. Um, yep. And then it'll be one of the other guys in there for them. Mm. Jordan Ruffhead plays his two hundredth game. In case you're interested. Yep. Now. Last time we played them, obviously, Anzac Day. Um, good win from us. Probably in hindsight, now definitely we can say that was one that we should have won. Now we sort of see how different our fortunes have been or our futures have been. Yep. 
uh, this season. Um, we ended up doing them by a handy four goals. I remember Jake Stringer being very good uh, with a couple of goals late. Waller kicked five. Obviously not going to be there this week. Uh, Darcy Parrish kicked two to go along with 42 possessions and he won his first best on ground performance middle mm. of three for the year. Mm. Uh, and the handy performances from Peter Wright kicked a lovely sausage roll from the boundary ah, set shot, Peter of course. Um, and Zach Merritt, 34 touches as well. Well, they sound like things that with form as they're going at the moment, uh, uh, at our team that they probably should be doing similar things again this week, really, don't they? Yep. Um, just for Collingwood, just quickly, Crisp kicked a goal, 30 touches. Pendlebury not playing tomorrow, uh, Sunday, mm. 30 touches. Side bottom loves us, 30 touches for him as well. Um, so does Pendlebury, though, to be fair. So, again, handy, handy <laughs> that he's not there. Great matchup in the ruck this week. I see Draper gets a big target, like um, you know, didn't didn't rate probably his last last week's opponent, but uh, Brody Grundy, one of the better ruckmen from the last 10, 15 years. So it's a big challenge for Big Sammy. It's and it's a see different how... challenge too because mm. it's not it's not maybe like you Gorn where it's tall hit out. And it's mobile. Bit, it's yeah, strong. Mobile. It's, yeah, yeah. He's going to be around the ground. He's going to get. T- he probably drag him forward, kick a yeah, goal. And Grundy's not going to yeah. just let him dictate either. Absolutely. No, no, no. Yeah. So good challenge. See how Sammy goes. He's been in great form. See so if he can keep it up against the league's best. So Anzac Day, we had Phillips in the ruck, um, just as a bit of background there, and they yep. smashed us in hitouts. Yeah, yeah. Thirty nine, uh, forty nine to thirty one. So. And clearances, we were, we're dominating at the moment, and oh, we wouldn't have, I'm guessing, been as good in that game. Well, we actually won clearances overall by just yeah. one. Um, oh, yeah. 18 to 13 center clearances, but got beaten around the, ga- um, around the ground, 25 to 21. Um, some other ones there standing out to me. They had a bit more contested ball. Again, at that point, I guess their midfield was a bit bit more like They had everyone still going, yeah. The, yeah. This was round, what, six, six was it? Yep. Yeah, yeah. So they were, I don't um, know what they, wins and losses at the time, but they certainly weren't rated as a rubbish team then, but it, Turned pear shape pretty much after that, didn't it? Yeah, basically. Um, and we got them around the ground, 114 marks to 81. That's normally where we do tend to get on top if we're winning. Mm-hmm. Enough about last time. <clears throat> um, we'll have a look at this game. We're both assuming there's no change and Cox will be the sub. Well, that's my guess, is that the practical sort is that Gleeson comes out, Cox goes in as the sub... Or maybe there's a spot with Perkins. I don't know. But Cox is so um, mobile and tall that he can play numerous he's perfect, roles. He's the perfect yeah. sub. Well, especially late in the season. You know, body if he's not playing, I, he should be playing normally. But he is <clears> the yeah. perfect sub if he's not going to play. I do think it's interesting that Tip and Woody, of you know, I don't, I, with the um, personal personal situation. Uh, it's interesting he wasn't picked, so we'll see what that, happens there. That, to me, says he's out for the year now. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll get on to finals and scenarios. I don't think you can bring him back for one. I mean, I, I, see, I disagree. I think that if he's got himself about. a bit right, he's had a rest. If if there was, say, personal issues, mental health, whatever, but maybe there was also a physical, you know, fitness and soreness and whatever being carried on. If he's had two weeks off and comes back for a final, he could be a very important player. Like, he's tackling, he's harassing. If he brings that back, yeah. that's what you want to see in finals. Look, that's all I'm saying. If, if I'm the opposition and I see in McDonald, Tip and Woody, I'm not thrilled about it. Mm. But assuming there's no absolute dire performances from us this week and no injuries, right. it will be hard to slot him back in. If, I, uh, if we have a nice win and we make finals and everything's positive... It's hard to take a player out of that winning side <clears> to, to play finals, but... That is the brutality of football sometimes that, is. that hard decisions have to be made. And it might be a young kid like a like a Guelphy or a even a Perkins who, you know, have had great years or you know I really hope it's good. not Perkins, but I'm just quietly I, I I'm not saying who, but you know, it it'll have to be someone that we think's been playing pretty good footy. And I think Guelphy's Guelphy and Clark, I guess, are the ones I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. And they've been pretty good the last few weeks. They'd be hard done by. I did see on that um the sports uh, the the injury report where they talked about um 
Guelphie's numbers of running and stuff were just off the charts. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, that, and that, that's that's why we like yeah. him. He doesn't have to have a lot exactly of the ball. Right. You notice that sort of stuff as a. Um... And that's really important. Getting the contest, getting up the ground, back down. You know that is becoming a really important part of that of an AFL football player in the last several years. Of is the um, the guys that have that high intensity yeah, run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Um, I just want to, we posted on the page earlier today, um, let us know some things you might want us to have a chat about. I want to get to them because I want I want to get people involved and I don't sure. want to just cover these topics on our own bat without recognising that a couple of people have... And plus, we don't know what we're talking about, so it's great to have time someone to, to comment. To yeah. <laughs> so, look, only only four comments, which, you know, get involved. Oh, the more the merrier. Right. It is it is good if we can get a lot of people involved. Still pretty good. First one, Simon says, Simon says, I didn't ever mean that. Oh, oh, no. Maybe he's playing with you. But anyway, go. I like I like your work, Simon. Who do you think will the, they... Well, be, 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 try again. Who do you think will be put on to Goey? He seems to be the danger player as far as I'm mm. concerned. If he gets a run on and kicks five, they could get their tails up. Mm. Also, I saw Darcy Moore didn't play last week. Injured. Darcy Moore is injured, just as a start. Mm. Um, there is an answer here to Simon from David saying, more like how the pie is going to stop Stringer out of the middle, which was probably Ooh. would be my comeback to that is let's... To go is dangerous. Do they go head to head? I don't think either club would be... Maybe, but I don't see how that well, benefits if, either club. No, but if we think that the rest of our midfield's better than the rest of their midfield, and you let those two go head to head, you just say, Drakey, so there you go. Yep. Ultimately, I think I, I'm 100% with David here that you let's control what we can control and say, and back our midfield, who at the moment are very, very good and up there with the best in the comp. When you look at goals, from centre clearances especially, yep. back your own boys to do it. Um, you know, Dugowie, as I said, he's dangerous. But last week we had Took Miller, who's been one of the best midfielders in the game this and year. Clark and followed him around a bit. Very quiet. Yeah. We've come up against Petrarca and Oliver, and they had good games, but it was a close game overall. So yeah. these guys well, aren't necessarily... Yeah, and again, I reckon the week before, Clark sort of followed around a few of the doggies midfielders too, just to sort of have a bit of effect. That's one of his sort of roles is that if they look like someone's getting a little bit away from us, then he'll sort of tag them around. Not, I don't think it's a full tag, but he'll follow them, follow them a bit around the clearances and stuff. And I don't remember a mid getting too much away from us really since Dangerfield in that Geelong game. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah. The, the dogs yep. players have high numbers. That, that's mm. just how they operate. Bont yep. was very good, but we managed to quell him for a quarter and a bit, and that was enough. <clears throat> um, Dugowie's different. Dugowie's their version of Stringer. Stringer's our version of Dusty. Like, oh, they're all in a similar... Are they both the same version of Dusty? Oh, they're both the same version of Stringer? No. Um, uh... um, I just mean that mm. we, we both have those players. So Yeah, 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 I understand. And that's why I don't... Like I don't think there's a player that you put against to go. You just try and at the moment, you win your I would own say, ball. yeah, you win your own ball, and that will have an effect on him. The problem will come if Grundy really gets on top, which I can see Sammy Draper yeah. getting smacked around the ground, maybe a little bit by just aerobic not capacity, but not, not in, in hit outs. I don't think he's going to get no. hit uh, smacked in the hit outs. No, he's going to do well. He's going to break even at least in hit outs around the ground. I agree. He it be a bit more of a challenge for him because of Grundy's mobility. But yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. We've done so well in the last several weeks in clearances and goals from clearances, scores from clearances that I, I don't think you just don't put that. You don't put that all the way now that you're playing like what? Yeah, four, you, you just team. keep doing what you're doing. You go, boys, do what you've been doing. Beat them. Yeah, and Collingwood haven't been winning a lot of games, even though dugowie has been playing well. So it's That's more right. than just Dugowie. And if it gets to the third quarter and Dugowie's on fire... Then you just do a Matthew do Lloyd and about it. Yeah, come off the back of the than... square and knock him out. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> By the way, we don't condone that sort no, of... No, we don't. Then, we we don't do know. love you, Matty Lloyd, and that was brilliant. We all were so happy that day. Thanks. Uh, good question, though. Good good topic, good yeah. good discussion from that. Um, Peter... Well, Simon says. Peter says, I'd like Hooker to play... Um, doesn't look like he's going to. I think that someone I read somewhere that he's not going to get the farewell game. That's footy, and in the situation we're in, fully support that. I agree, hundred percent. That happened last year with Bell Chambers. It caused a bit of a bit of a yes 
shitstorm. Yeah, and look, it's just the it's just the you don't always get the fairy tale finishes, no. and, and you don't get to play a grand final, win a grand final, and walk away, you know, with a Norm Smith medal. That just doesn't happen all the time. And no. sometimes you finish at round fifteen, and that's the end of your career. And it happens. sucks, but yeah, it just happens. I, I'm, I'm glad. Love him. Um, yeah, absolutely. And I'm glad on both occasions these players haven't been given just fairy tale yeah, send off games. Yep. I think last year there was a more of a case for it because we weren't sort of in that finals yep. picture at all. Sure but at the same time, no one's bigger than the club. You've got to just cop that on the chin. I'm sure Hooksy would, and Hooksy would realise that you know we need to win Sunday. Yeah. It's it's huge for the improvement of our yeah. club in the next five six years. So, and who knows? Like maybe Peter Wright gets injured late in the game, and and Hooker becomes an option next oh, week. Oh, like... you can come back for one final, and we'll win it. Sorry. But you know, like that, that's just... speak. Talk about your fairy tales. Um, then he goes all the way through the grand fall. Boom. Uh, yeah, yeah, then he gets the, and wins a bit. Norm Smith. Yep. yep. <laughs> and somehow the brown like, um... <laughs> or the Coleman. No, you can't. No, that's Coleman, the Coleman. <laughs> you need to kick about thirty this week to get the Coleman. Um, and then one last comment from David again, who responded to the first. Um, yep. The first comment there. With a strong, healthy list, do you think Caldwell will get a game this week? And if so, who do they drop? Also like the prospect of Jones and Langer coming back as well for the finals if we make it. So this was the main comment that I wanted to talk about now because yep. I feel like we would have talked about Caldwell, especially anyway, mm. eventually. He's not in, so that, that comment was made before the teams. Obviously, he's not back this week. I think that's wise. He's played half a game of VFL. From all reports, he was great. But you don't come back into an AFL side off one, and albeit scratch match, VFL Some game of football. Do, yeah. Half a VFL game of football. And it wasn't even a legit game of football. Yep. Well, some people do, but he probably not at that level. He not played off. one and a half games. He played round two, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm kind of content, unless injuries really get on top of us over the next fortnight, that he's done for the year and he gets a full preseason and a bit of strength. And I, I would find it hard pressed to find a role for him. I, I really can't see a spot unless it's a half forward role, but then it's still taking out like a Guelphie or a yeah. you know or a Snelling or a Smith, and, and none of them have been bad at the moment. So I... yeah, I agree. And I, I think just for his own sake, you, you don't need to rush him back now. Not well, for that's one right. game. He's, and... he's 21 or two or whatever. Like He's got a massive career in front of him. Just like, yeah, he'll, him. Yeah, just get him right, cherry right for next year. I, I assume and I hope we're playing finals again and he can have a run at it then. Yeah. And he, I think all things even, all things, you know, no injuries, anything like that. He's in our best 22. Great. I think so. He, would, he would play. So just look after him for now. The other one he mentioned there was Jones and Langford. I, I... Langford. Good players, Langford especially, Jones up and coming, you know, future prospect kind of scenario. Is Jones an upgrade on Francis at the moment? I don't think so. Ooh, what, that's a bit cool. what I was going to say, really, mm. it's nothing to them. If they come back, we're going to talk about finals in a minute, in a second. If he comes back, if both of those players come back, sorry, it's for a final. I don't like the idea of too many players coming back into the side off injuries in that kind of a game. Especially yeah. if we're coming off the back of three wins. Yeah, but a quality player like Langford I'm bringing back in. Langford's probably more so than Jones. Because yeah. Langford's got multiple positions he can play. Like Even if he's, say if you're a bit worried about him, he, 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 like I think in the game he came back, he heard him answer through the game and they threw him up forward and he was effective. And to be fair, he was actually quite good in that game. Yeah. So I think, I think Langford I comes in if he's fit. I still see playing as a half forward, if not maybe, you know, maybe a winger sort of half forward. He could have a slight, you know, different well, time frame on the yeah. on the roll. And at one nine four centimeters, he he would make a pretty decent third tall forward. If exactly, and he's else. great set shot, good overhead mark. You know, like I could see that working. Um, Jones, uh, I mean, the the problem about him is that in some games he played this year, great, he had a great first year. But in some games, you just didn't see him or, yeah. you know, and I could imagine, say if we're playing, well, that's the other thing too. You'd have to think about who we were playing. If we were playing the dogs. Uh, don't don't get too far ahead of me here. Just... Oh, but if I was going to say it, dude, if we're playing the dogs, I'd nearly bring him in because we could stretch, stretch their back, back line for height. Yeah. 
right, we will get to that scenario in yep. a minute. I think I'm I'm more for Langford coming in. Yeah, Unless I'm, I'm Francis or Wright get injured, I reckon Jones might not. That could just be me saying that because I'm nervous about finals. But I being a big guy... I don't, have a, I don't have a problem with that. I don't know if he'd be a valuable... like His value to the team, I don't know if it would be there. Like, well, it's I an think impossible Francis choice. Because yeah, if, if you don't Francis bring him back in and then we get smacked and don't look like we can kick a goal, <laughs> you're sitting there going, why the frigging hell did but Jones it, not come back in? If he comes last... back in and doesn't get a touch, then you go, why the frigging hell did he play? Yeah, but in the last three weeks, we've kicked pretty yes. much 100 points and, you know, had a lot, quite a lot of set shots. So it's not like that is a problem at the moment. Now, that could have to do with the opposition we've been playing, but I would say it's got a lot to do with how we've been transitioning from the midfield to the forward line and that it's been a lot better than it's been all year. We've won two in a row, haven't we? Sydney, Bulldogs, and then G- uh, Gold Coast. That's our last three games? Yeah. Yes. yes yeah, yeah, but before that, we won't beat uh, North Melbourne. So we... Was yeah. it North Melbourne? Yeah. Long time ago. Um. Anyway, yeah, I think... Yeah. Langford, yes. Langford's a solid best 22 player, absolutely. Jones, we've persisted with when he maybe wasn't in great form because he's a kid and that's fine. But I yeah, think for right, that sort of player to come back into a final, and Cox may well be in the same boat if he doesn't play Sunday. Well, you've got to get Cox, Langford, Tip and Woody. Yeah. Like there's... That's, that, four know, changes in a final. You don't see it, unless we have to. No, that's right, unless it's injured. And... and, and... It's hard to say, like, I would say that the kids that are winning at the moment, it's hard to take them out. Absolutely. Absolutely right. All right. Good segue. Um, Love a good segue. Love a good segue. Now, I want to preface this. Subway, too. Yeah, Subway, eat fresh. Um, They don't sponsor us. If you're listening, Subway, and you want to, I'm all ears. to take sponsorships. Yeah. Um, Nathan needs a microphone. Hashtag it. Um, Don't start with that. I want, to, I want to talk about finals, but there's a couple of things at play here. Mm-hmm. And yes, I'm 100% saying this so we don't look like complete twats come Monday when okay. we lose to Collingwood. If we, you know. So we want, we, we want to chat about the possibility. We want to have that discussion now. Yeah. But we understand the, the interesting, a we can lose. The interesting part of this conversation is what might happen, what will, won't, maybe, yeah. uh, who can we play. That's why we want to have it now. If we have this conversation on Monday, we know what's going to happen. Yeah, and it's less exciting for us. It is less, exi- less exciting. It's kind, of like, it's, it's kind of like Christmas, you know, like you start to get pretty excited a few days before thinking about the... the uh, you talk about what you might get for, pre- for Christmas get, and then, and then you, know, you open you your just, presents and go, oh, and shit. Yeah. Well, yeah. Geez, Socks. Did, I ask for, did I ask for that? Did Thanks, anyone get, Did no one get the hints? So straight off the bat, my concern is that we have been taught to be disappointed. Well, you've been taught. You're uh, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, yes. Yours, not so much. For the last 10 years, let's say, we've had a bit of expectation at times and we've been let down. Yep. But and there's on been... that... Yep. On that, this year has exceeded all expectations. So to win or lose a final, I think matters less, whereas the other years... We, we were expected, on top of it. Like yep. a couple of years ago, you know, more than a couple of years ago now, but there was one stage where we were in the top two or three, like in the first six or seven rounds. Like we were flying and by midway we were about six and then we dropped a couple and we fought our way back to seventh or something like that. And, you know, that's where the, that disappointment was because then we got flogged in a final. Yep. Whereas this year we were meant to be top bottom four and now we've worked our way, our asses into a possible top eight. So, yeah, yep. I'm less... My mood's a little different. Now, this this has been in the, in the media a bit this week about how it's different now. It's different this year. There's been a lot of media around that, and it's not something that's really new <clears throat> to us because we've felt, we felt this sort of resurgence this season and the yeah. exceeding the expectations and all that. Me and you have talked off air about really not sure if actually making a final is a good thing for us or not, and I think yeah. that'll be determined by the outcome. We don't have to win if we make it. We just have to be sort of in in a game, in a fight, in a scrap. Yeah. Um, we just don't want to be, get blown out of the no. water again. But I think so. That's that's the old experiences talking. Oh, don't get flogged in the final. Oh, don't get flogged. Don't get flogged. This is different. Feels different. Mm. So, in terms, I of... I think there's a different feel around the club as yes. well as in the supporters. Well, too. you keep hearing it from the players. They keep getting interviewed and saying that. I'm... Now they could be just saying it, but. Pretty sure 
You're getting far away from your microphone there, buddy. Sorry, Chip. Oh, God, who was it? Sorry. Uh, John Ralph. John Ralph mm-hmm. wrote an article this week. I don't know if anyone's seen it. It was, you know, a lot. 20-odd reasons why Essendon is 16. different. 16 reasons why we're different this season as opposed to others. One of those things, he referred back to Dyson Heppel's speech against Sydney in round mm-hmm. three. And it was one of the better things that the club's actually done to show that video mm. of Hep talking and saying, you know, we were bloody good then and that mm. does beat 90% of teams, but, you know, Sydney are flying, but you you and blokes, are, you blokes on, are good enough. They went on to be flying for a long time yep. there too. Mm. You, you blokes are good enough to, to win some games of football and, if we, you know, back us or whatever. So it's it's just different this year. Yeah. I do, I do feel that too. So, the scenarios. If we win, Sorry. let's just talk about if we win. Let's just say if we win. Let's just assume we're good enough to beat the Pies. Collingwood. We, are 16. Now, there's a, bit of, there's a bit of percentage in play with this. Mm. I believe. We're just using the AFL ladder tracker, really, aren't we? Or predictor and just sort of going. More or less. Well, we the most... think these teams are going to win, you know, like, yeah. for example... The Bulldogs and the Friday night game is going to be really exciting for us because it nearly defines who we play. Yes. So Port Adelaide, is that Port Adelaide and Bulldogs? Port Adelaide and Bulldogs. If the Port of Adelaide's win, which I do think they will be. I think they will. Dogs are in a bit of a slump. Surely been in better form. Then that means we play the Dogs by, you know, I think pretty much 100%. So we win, Port wins. I'll just, I'll just fact check yep. that if you want to yep. fill for whereas, it. Whereas if the Doggies win... There's a chance we could be playing Brisbane, which I'm not so excited about, to be honest. Yeah. So, Port win, Dogs go to fifth, assuming Brisbane win. Brisbane have to win their game against West Coast, Brisbane which you would West suggest Coast. suggest that oh, they would. That would be a major now, slip up. if in the scenario mm. that Port does win, and we sit there and go, all right, we're playing the Dogs, and then Brisbane lose, we will yep. end up playing Sydney. What? Assuming GWS uh, Geelong win. How can we play? I don't think we can play Sydney. Well, Brisbane Sydney. losing puts them down to sixth. As long as Sydney beat Gold Coast, kind of like if Sydney win, Brisbane oh, lose, oh, God. then we can play Sydney. I don't want I think to play Sydney. I hate Sydney. The most likely scenario is the Bulldogs because Port win, mm. we win. Yep. That's what happens. If you go by the the bookies, which we don't like to mention, but West Coast are paying six bucks. Like that's rank yes, outside. Yes, that is very outside in a two horse race. Though. In a two horse race, <laughs> Sam hates that expression. Everyone <laughs> thinks um, that's an old person expression. I don't know. So look, all things equal. If the favourites win, and I can't for the life of me work out why Port Adelaide are not favourites, I can't work that out either. Against the doggies have lost the two basically out of eight teams outside the eight teams, yeah. and Port Adelaide have been playing decent footy. Like I know they're they're pretty good at home, but. Oh, jeez. So, yeah, favourites win. We will play the Bulldogs. Um, location unknown. Doesn't really matter because either we're both going to be in Melbourne or we're both going to travel well, uh, either I, way. It won't be in Melbourne, from what I understand. It'll be yeah. possibly in Tasmania. So, the dogs. things that can change that. If Carlton, that Carlton get up over the Giants, we will actually go to seventh and play Sydney in that scenario. It seems mm. unlikely. Um, Carlton seem to have fallen off the yeah face hill of the in the last few weeks. Yeah. Yep. So that's really the scenarios. Should we win? If we happen to get done, we can still make it. We just have to have West Coast and no, Fremantle yeah. lose. I don't, don't want to go into a game into a final off a yeah. loss. To I'd be 16. okay with the world if we lost the. Co- no, I wouldn't be okay if we lost. The <laughs> Never. <coughs> Excuse me. I would have loved it if. I still would have loved to have not been in the eight because of this nervousness. But if I I reckon there's one team I don't mind playing at the moment, and it's the Dogs because they look to be the least. <laughs> they're out of form. Like to, to put it to put it bluntly, they're out of form. They're missing a very good key forward in Bruce now. Um, yep. Their defence has been their letdown if they have yeah. lost. English hasn't played very good uh, football, and if Seth Martin comes back, which I think he was he named this week, we should probably just look go at that. and check that. Now. Yep. yep, if he's named, then that's a big plus for them because that means English goes forward, Steph Martin goes in the ruck. He's not playing. 
So that means they're holding him out for next week because he was pretty close this week. But he sounds like whatever's wrong with him, it's not like he, he's, you know, I reckon he's not going to be cherry right when they bring him back either. He's, well, no, it would be pretty desperate times. For yeah. Them. If they bring him back the week after that in the first final, if they come fifth, then they're playing for, they can't lose. And, you know, if they come fifth and they're on top of the ladder when we played them, weren't they? Like three yep. weeks ago, two weeks yep. ago. So that's, uh, that's There's a, a massive fall from grace. Yeah, and I don't know what how that would hit players. Like, is it from your um, you know, emotional, you know, well being? No, you're like, flat. You, you, you'd be these, flat. These guys are disappointed. Like, they're professional sports people, so you win and lose, and that that's everything to you. So, I think, and I imagine they'd have a tough run from there on in. Yeah. So anyway, that 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 looks like the most likely scenario right now is the mm. dogs. I don't want to. I don't, I don't want to sit here and be like, oh, that's good, that's great for us, because you very it's easily get embarrassed is. when you do that. Mm. I think if you offered me Bulldogs or Brisbane, oh, I'm take taking the dogs. the dogs every day of the week. Because Brisbane will be up at Brisbane, obviously. Yeah, and Brisbane are, at the moment, probably with Port, the most informed teams in the comp. Well, they've won their last three. And Port's... they're belting opponents. Yeah, Port last, you know. Port and that, Carlton that... is pretty embarrassing. Yep. Port and also, well, I think they've won their last three, so there's a bit of form there. Yep, both have won their last. Oh, Port are five straight, actually. Well, there you go. That's, that's and, pretty good form. Yeah. So they're five straight, and they're playing the dogs who've lost two in a row, and they're not even going in as favourites. Like, how yeah, bad do they play in Victoria? Not that bad. They don't play that bad in Victoria. Well, they've they're lost, not West Australia. They've lost five games not, for the year, so they They're can't... not the Eagles. Yeah. All right. Um, as I say, if we lose, we need both Perth clubs to lose as well we don't really want that that's not an ideal scenario it's not the way we want to roll if we're gonna lose if we lose uh, i would rather miss at that point mm. that being said right now i'm bloody excited because mm. we're in the conversation we've got positive media yes it's a long way to fall but we've had a lot of players re-sign too things a lot are of good quality yes. players like so guelphie one year bzt two years phillips yep. one year is that it? We could we could have a brief conversation about the BZT Talia sort of thing. Oh, we we t- we talked about Talia last week. I don't think we need yeah, to go there again. In case you missed it, I'm kind of all for it. Nathan mostly against it. I'm mostly strongly against it. Strongly against it. Um, we'll see what happens. We'll we'll, we'll have a we'll have a bigger the, that, chat about that postseason whenever that might be. The beauty of being uh, supporters is that we don't all have to agree on all these things. We just, we love, when, whenever the decision is made, we support it. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> do I, do I dare look at, if we beat the Bulldogs, who do, who do we, who do we play? Oh, you're getting a long way ahead of yourself there, Samuel. Oh, Brisbane. Oh no. Oh no. No, back out. Get out. Oh, I, I don't want it to be us or Joe. I don't want that scenario. That's so. what it'll be built up in the media, though. For yeah. you, we all know that. That's already just... in my head. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, Rent free, I'll yeah. tell you. Mm. Anyway, let's just get past Collingwood and right. enjoy the week after that. So we need to we need to tip? I should say one other thing, too. Yes. My understanding, too, is of, we're talking about ins and outs in the finals. My understanding is that, and correct me if I'm wrong on the comments, that if the finals will be played next week, so there's no normally there's a buy. There's no buy, correct. So they're jumping straight into the first week of the finals, and then they're having a buy week. I thought they were keeping it for before the prelims, so you'll have the okay, eliminations and the semis, no, and then a break. No, fair enough. If they I need it, yep. was my understanding though, not definite. Yep. Also, I want to just have a little grumble at the AFL here. Mm, it's very easy to do because, because mm. we are the only team. Either oh, yeah, in contention for finals or in the eight. <laughs> Aside from Frio, apologies, Frio, you are there too. Playing on Sunday. Now, we are eighth. Can someone tell me why Hawthorne and Richmond get to play early Saturday afternoon at the MCG while we play Collingwood at the MCG I, later oh, on a Sunday? And the only reason, because I know what you're going to say, mm, is primetime telly, Essendon Collingwood, Channel That's 7. what I explained to you. The, the, but why would you? We, who's going to watch the footy on Sunday if there's no like? We've got these absolute blockbusters through Friday and Saturday. I like don't first, care. First plane, second, third plane, fourth flight, and then we get to Sunday to thirteenth plane. I, I, I don't care. We are that. we are eighth. They scrap the bloody week off and then they put but, us on a Sunday. But if we play next week, like say we beat Collingwood, we'll play next week on the Sunday, so it won't really matter. Yeah, 
Yeah, but it's just different treatment. We get different treatment to the rest of the bloody competition. Yeah, fair. I'm not, I, we Why are not play eight, us on Saturday? We are eight, Sam. Like, you're not meant to get the dream run home. Hawthorne and Richmond are not anywhere near the bloody eight. Yeah, There's a sentence. Can't, what I'm saying is they say. can't make they can't make say the Western Bulldogs game play on Sunday, can they? They no. can't make Sydney no. and the Cheddar because it also depends on when they played the week before and the week before that. So most of those I think played Fridays my, and Saturdays. My, my real point here is that both Richmond and Hawthorne would not be affected by playing on Sunday because they would have got a longer break. Essendon and Collingwood would either have a seven. But then or we'd six be day playing break. a six day. We might complain we're playing a six day break going into a final into the last game of the round. Still rather a longer break. Into, it enough. just doesn't make any sense. And feeds it makes that, sense to me. Feeds that AFL don't like us. Yeah, fair mm. enough. But I don't see it in this one. Boycott. <laughs> Boycott. All right, give me a tip. The uh, views are expressed by, by Sam or his own and not supported by the chat channel here of Nathan and Sam. Thanks for the disclaimer. Now, can I please have your tip? Uh, well, tip was the Bombers. Yeah, you know how to tip, just, right? Just the tip with. Um, I'm gonna say thirty-one points our way. I'm gonna I'm gonna set myself up for a lot of Ooh. egg on my face. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna say us by sixty-five. Oh, Jesus. I don't... really I have just. When was, a... the, when was the last time we beat Collingwood by sixty-five? Seriously. When was the last time we were genuinely better than Collingwood? It doesn't matter though. When we play, that that, that never matters. Uh, I'm sticking to it. I've said it. I've said okay, it with the chest. I'm sticking yeah, with it. Enough. I can't take it back now just because you filled I'm my not. mind with doubt. No, no, no. No, no. I wouldn't, I wouldn't dare. Last five matches. I haven't beaten them by that much for a long time. I'm fully aware of that. But I'm just trying to find it now. two I'm clubs, know, very different yeah. stages. I know they're going to want nothing more than to ruin our party and burst our bubble. But I just have faith in that midfield, okay. that defence, that forward line in that order. Yep. I'll give you a reason why you might be right. Thanks. The last five matches Collingwood have played, their scores have been 57, 78, 90, which is decent, 69 and 62. So, it's some, and the 90 was against um, West Coast. So, I reckon they scored most of those 90, that 90 in like the first half. They were flogging them in the first half, mm. weren't they? Yeah. Look, like I said, I'm setting myself up for a massive drop there, but Don's by yep. 65. I'm getting excited. I, I, I can I can just feel us being a threat in September. Mm. I've never yeah. experienced that in my life. <laughs> well, I have, but I don't remember Such it. Such a short life, Sam. Such a short life. I was life. 11 when we won our last final, for Christ's sake. Um, what year was it? How, how, what year was it? That's 2004. How old am I, Sam? I don't know. <laughs> I was 30, 30 odd. Yes. So Nathan's lived through a couple of premierships. I was three. I was one week old in ninety three when we won that one, and I was about seven when we won two thousand. And I, I remember remember watching the 01 grand final. That's probably my first memory. I remember eighty four and eighty five and ninety three and two thousand. So two very different takes here because my, like I said, my experience has been very negative over the last yeah, no, little bit. But, and, and it's funny when you say, like, I don't realise how long it's, you know. I, I were, your children, that, were your children were your children alive in 2004? No, God, no, my children were born in 2010. There you go. There you go. So, like, that's how long ago that was. They're nearly so if, teenagers. They're not nearly. He's 11 and she's 8. They're not. He's 11, exactly. Two years. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's go quickly, I can tell you once. You yeah, know. yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Anyway. Let's wrap. Mm. It's 39 minutes. Right. So you said Don's by what? 31. 31. Me, me say Don's by 65. It's going to be an absolute party on Sunday night or Monday whenever we record or really I'll, negative. It'll probably really be Monday sad. if we win because I'll be a bit, you know, yeah, a bit, bit under the weather. Yeah. So if you check our YouTube channel and you see a video that goes for 10 seconds, you know we probably lost. <laughs> yeah, we'll just say we lost like sucks by. We lost by. Yeah, okay, bye. Yeah, we'll be like, we'll come, we'll talk to you in about three months. This is the problem. Sorry, I'm going to just tangent a little bit. Oh, if we, if we do lose this now. Shut down the whole show and now he's gone for red. If we lose this now, the season is going to feel disappointing. And that's my biggest concern That's understandable, now. but hopefully in a week's time, you can look back at it and say, yeah, but it wasn't. I know, look, I was really upset at that loss, but 
gee, the, the improvement from guys like Parrish and Aaron Draper Tom. and Cox and all these guys we've got out of the club and we're hearing great reports about Baldwin and, you know, and things are going on. Corbo will be back next year. Shield will be better for, you know, and all these sort of things will go, well, then we'll just get motivated for next year. Yep. Pre-season talk will start and we'll be all, woohoo. I, I agree with you. And we do have the best marketing team in the world. They can sell They keep them. selling us premierships. Yep. We keep buying yeah, them, Yeah, we keep buying them. Um, I'm with you on that. I just I don't I don't want to have yeah, that sort right. of feeling and sense that oh god we missed out we've 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 missed out yeah. on a final. I'm now. not we saying really that you should shouldn't have, have that feeling. I just can you know. We're playing the football anyway. All right, uh, you go Dons. We'll chat on Monday probably. Hopefully. And good luck in your fantasy grand final this week, Sam. Thank you, sir. I, I will agonise my little mm. heart out. Oh, you will. God, you will. All right, go Dons. Go Dons.